In this lesson, I want to quickly take a look at the field types here. You notice that when you click on this drop down, there's just different options that you can choose. You can choose a text area. And based on the option that you choose, some of the values here also change. And then when you click here, you can choose a list. You can put the information here. You can choose a checkbox based on the option you choose here. That's what's going to show on the front end. So let's see something here for a date. So let's save this and we're going to refresh this and take a look at, you know, this first first. I changed the first name here, the different values for it. So now the first name, it has a date option on there. So when you click here, you can pick and choose the date for it. Why? Because I've changed the field type from just the text area to a date. I can change that to a file type or I can change that to a message. So all this here, you have the different option of just going through and selecting, you know, the different field types that you want. And there are times when you want to, you know, add a date there. There are times when you want to add uh, something else, but you have that flexibility to be able to choose the field types. And one thing to it that I would say is that once you understand how everything works uh, and you're comfortable with it, then you want to create, you know, different form fill or form types for each plan. You know, there's some items that you want to make universal, such as, you know, their first and the last name. But when you create different field types for different plans, this allow you to gather more data uh, from this different user. So, for example, if you have a basic plan and this is just, you know, for people who just want the basics of what you're offering, the information you collect from them, it's not going to be as extensive. But let's say you want someone that wants to get an advanced plan, then you can come back here and you can add a little bit more stuff on the custom fields. You can create more fields that you can collect a little bit more information so that way you know exactly how to best help all the users who are subscribing to that plan. So when you click on new, you can choose uh, for the advanced or whatever plan that you want uh, this to be. And, and this happens a lot. You know, sometimes when you see popular services or popular companies that have different plans, the information that they collect based on your plan option is so much different. You know, the, the basic plan have something else, the intermediate plan, then the advanced plan have something else. So it's important that, you know, if you're going to offer different packages, you want to be able to offer or collect certain information and, and that information can give you a little more insight. Maybe you want to know a little bit about them. Maybe you want to know what uh, they plan to, to do for the next, you know, few months or if they have a budget for something additional on top of this. So you come up with just different ways and you can customize the form field types here and collect that information. And then you can always go back and you can analyze to see, OK, all the users from the basic plan. This is what I have for them. All the users from the advanced plan. This is what I have. How can I use the data that I have to be able to provide more uh, service or quality service to, you know, to everyone?